Hello, my name is Ryan Strong and I'm going to show how the multiplayer function works in my game. Uh, currently you see my game opened up on my iPhone 6 Plus. I'm going to first go in and enable matchmaking and I'm going to create the match and it's going to load the initial car in. Car moves from left to right. And I'm going to set this down. And I'm going to grab my iPod. I'm going to open up the same game. And I'm going to start, enable matchmaker. And I want to find internet match and join match default. and it's loaded up my game. You'll see both cars and you can see on the screen, the top screen how I'm turning and on the bottom screen you see that other car turning as well. So they're both working together. So if I were to turn this car more straight and you look at this top screen I press the button and the car moves and I start my race. So multiplayer function is working. It is doing what it's supposed to. I'm able to race through the game with the car and it's everything is running nice and smooth. I got turned around. Let me turn back around. There we go. So yeah, everything's running nice and smooth. The code's working fine. And the car is moving like it's supposed to. I will quickly go in. Uh, let me close these out real quick. I'm going to quickly go in and show what I had to do to get that to work by showing my Unity probably be better if I show it on this screen, less of a glare. Alright, so, pulling Unity over. So, what I had to do was, I had the settings set up to where the multiplayer runs via the track one script here as you've seen before but one thing that I had to add that I did not realize was in the services tab they have when you open it up they have all these different services and one of the things that I had to add was multiplayer and doing that I was able to go in and add a subscription plan which I'm using it just for personal use so therefore it's free it gives me global CCUs that are available, how many I've used, and how many you were used by this project. And that's just the, the current configurations that were used. Um, and then max number of players, which I set to two. All of this is done on the Unity website. Um, you can refresh, and what it does is it'll refresh your information when you initially start because it doesn't have this currently set up you have to set it up with one of your own your own login on the unity page this also allows you to add ads get analytics cloud cloud build and in-app purchases if you ever get to that point in the games so uh, real quick on the I'll open up the track one so that I can show in my inspector again the network manager. So the network manager here uh, it's just used to show the offline scene then it has the online scene which was track one. I have my player prefab in here and then a network manager HUD. In order to spawn my two different players I have two spawn points on the scene which are these two here spawn one and spawn two. 
and attached to those is the network start position. And that is the majority of the multiplayer. Uh, the only other thing that I had to mess with to get to work was a few changes to some scripting. So I have this camera follow script, which I added so that the, it follows the player around the track and stays with the player at a certain distance and doesn't fall too far behind. In the game manager script, I have all the, a lot of the other information for the loading of the scenes in the game and then my car movement script that was set up. And I also use a touch test, which is actually another video that can be seen. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.